Hey, this is Don, Don Kryptonium. The Sigma Alpha Cosmos Crypto Expert also paid NFT Stargaze Shield. And recently, you probably have seen a lot of tweets in regards to the bad kids. Many people buy the bad kids. Many people are tweeting, hey, look, I did something very, very bad. I bought a bad kid. <laughs> so um, I will address that, you know, uh, because... Maybe you want to know if there is something more to Stargaze than bad kids. So before we start, make sure you like this video and make sure you share your opinion. Also, you might share this video. So, um, you know, I, I want to address the fact because everyone is focuses on the bad kids. And I want to start with what Ethan Bookman believed about blockchains, that the blockchains will be serving the small local communities, which I don't believe makes any sense because they are too technical, unlike NFTs. And blockchains are uncultural, unable to culture the certain values that communities can align to themselves. And I think NFTs with that serve better to this purpose, right? The NFTs can align yourself um, with the certain standard of beauty that that NFT represents, uh, the certain of expression, the certain vibe, the certain political alliance, etc. So it, it, it's perfect for, for this type of communities. Of course, um, it doesn't carry and anything above that. So we had the, 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 a lot of people buying bad kids. What I noticed, there is a lot of people also saying bad kids. I do want to say that there is this new uh, collection on Stargaze, uh, Don Remilio. So this is not my collection. I'm not affiliated to this collection. I don't know who made this collection. I was not aware that someone was making that collection. So I hope that clears everything because I keep being tagged like it's my collection. No, if you think I would have audacity to ever put uh, Juno hoodie on the Remilio, uh, check yourself to the hospital. But what's more on the Stargaze, right? Because everyone explore the bad kids because people don't realize that there is other existing communities that have their own communities. They own the fine vibe. So when someone from outside of the Stargaze, someone from other Cosmos chain wants to go to, to Stargaze and do something, they buy bad kids because other bought bad kids, right? Because bad kids were very popular around the Cosmos. But I want to give shout out to other collections. So obviously I was giving the, the shout out to Pixel Wizards many times. It's the second collection established. Um, recently I spoke about Lilliput Wonders, which I'm, I'm actually quite happy. This is like, you know, smaller collection, um, 1000 supply, over 1000 supply, you know, and it seems, um, well, time will tell. But one of my favorite collections on the Stargaze is actually Starty. So Starty is since the earliest, the early days of the Stargaze and she created multiple collections. My favorite so far was Honor Starty. And I think it is the best pixel art on Stargaze and also one of the best pixel art overall in the NFT space, okay? Um, but of course, I, I could be biased, but I bought a lot of the Honor Starties before. And when it comes to these backgrounds, I think this is one of the best pixel work I ever seen, right? So obviously it doesn't have hype. And I think the NFTs, um, the hype in the NFTs is very important. I would say the creator of the Stardust is quite introverted, extremely nice talking to and extremely helpful to other artists because she also works for the Stargaze. But, um, you know, she's not as expressionist on the Twitter, uh, not as dick as I am. So maybe it's not as uh, easy to actually be visible for, for someone from outside. But those, you know... Uh, can I make it bigger? Those banners is really such a beautiful pixel art and, and you know, so much work is put to them that I, I've bought a lot of them. You know, we let, let's see what's the rarest one. Um, I wonder, like, the, the, there was some pepper ones. So those one of ones, I think. Um, but, like... These things are just so beautiful. I really enjoy them. So 
you know, when someone comes to, to Cosmos, they see the bad kids. But I, I think there is like a lot of other beautiful art and very unique art that easily could have their own vibe. So Stardia, I feel, has its own community, very defined community. Other very own community would be um, Reapers, right? Uh, Sunnyside Reapers. This is amazing. So Sunnyside Reapers was worried, like he he went quiet because I think um, his uh, real life job, uh, th there, there is something to do regarding real life job. So let me make it smaller now. So Pixel Wizard obviously has like another community uh, around his. There is a lot of other communities that seems completely separate, even like not fully aligned with the with the stargaze and 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 I do want to give shout out. So on the launchpad there is this new collection rebels and I never knew rebels, right? Like um they, they would confirm, I never really discovered because you know, my opinions despite I'm being involved in stargaze like when, when I make the video might be biased, but they do a lot of very popular art and they also partner with Maria, which is like very popular um so even like I might not know much about them, but they themselves has very strong, unique community that really loves to mint their NFTs and they art and follow. So there is a lot of unexplored things um, th than I even know. You know, Kujirans, Shrimps, and others. It's actually Kujira community with uh, not really strong. Uh, you know, they, they know surely Stargaze, but it doesn't mean they're like fully committed to Stargaze. They they probably bigger fans of Kujira, but they are also having NFT on Stargaze. So I'm very happy that this is the actual platform that helped to build those communities. And you surely see, see that it's it's not just the bad kids, but it, it's it's way more. Actually, Androma Punks was like my other one of my favorite um, pixel art. Um, that was there. So let me see what's there. Some of them like really got quiet, you know. I know there was other world like um, doing something. Um, this Cosmos Ape Alliance went quiet. Um, they were asking me for for something before, but I quite forgot. They they came from Luna. You know, we have the the dog house that kind of stays a little quiet, but I think they also have their own uh, community. Uh, Pocket Bisu which uh, has actually completely her own vibe. So I, I did brought her. So she had like very small community on, on Ethereum. So actually this collection is more aligned to, to, to just herself, right? So I, I, like, let's have a look about some of the analytics. Uh, obviously the Bad Kids pool, one of the like strongest volumes, um, because that would be nearly 100, thousand which is the 50 percent of the volume on stargaze came from the bad kids which is which is truly obvious um and also the other collections aligned with them so uh, with other collections that come from the same artist that would be more than that but if you exclude that those volumes would still place stargaze very well for for the small chain right so for the for the seven days stargaze did hundred eighty three thousand. Uh, so without bad kids, it would be still more than Phantom and Algorand, right? With bad kids, we for past seven days we were more popular than uh, Tezos and more popular than Avalanche. Uh, for thirty days, we also oscillating um, in this area, just close to top fifteen of blockchains when it comes to the NFT volumes. And one of the upcoming collections also that is not affiliated. Uh, doesn't come from Cosmos. It's completely new, similar to Lilliput Wonders. Like, she actually doesn't have any affiliation. She's just the artist um, that deployed on Stargaze. Rage Quit seems to be gaining some traction and they launch uh, next month. Some of the, like, that's probably my favorite of theirs. And I think this also will be very unique on the, on the Stargaze. You can find the Discord as well. So what I would like to see more for Stargaze, obviously I want more artists to come. I want to see that examples like Starty, like Lilliputs, like Rage Quit, and you know, all others that I mentioned and did not mention, Kujirans, you know, whatever, Cosmos Apes, like whatever, that the, the, the people can actually see that you can try to build your own community, potentially, maybe make your money because I know artists wants that. 
What is the future? I think, I hope we expand to more, more forms, you know, including photography. I, I had a touch with some photographers, a lot of one-of-one artists. We have open edition Minter, which as possibilities of the NFT platforms get bigger, I see no reason for people to not deploy their short movies, their short TV shows and series that are more ambitious and try to be sold. And, you know, you can watch the high quality on blockchain. You know, that would be after the filter. They they make some episodes. They could easily deploy it on the, on the blockchain as well, right? That's probably more convenient to do it on YouTube. Anyway, it's actually already long. So with that, smash the like button again. I mean, don't do it again because then will be the no, no like button. But with that, don't Kryptoniums out. Till the next time.